Hi everyone, Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill. And one of the most overlooked tools to have in a boat is a very good fixed blade knife. Now this happens to be the Intersect from Benchmade. And these are made in the US. They come with a lifetime guarantee, lifetime sharpening. Uh, but the nice part about having a fixed blade versus a folding knife is this thing's always gonna go back in the same spot. Um, you, you got a really nice sheath here, some clips, you can find great mounting options. Uh, whereas a folding knife, you, you fold that thing and it always seems to disappear. Uh, when you have a fixed blade, it's very easy to access. You don't have to worry about fumbling, especially in like emergency situations. Uh, one instance is if you're spring fishing on a river and you've got ice floating down, if you're anchored, a lot of times those ice chunks will ride up your uh, the anchor rope and I've seen boats get uh, you know basically submerged. Have a quick knife, grab it, slice the rope and you stay safe. So please take a look at the Benchmade knives and uh, great thing is they're made in the USA. I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill and that's another tip for Midwest Outdoors. When you're fishing in the fall, after the lakes turn over, the water becomes super clear. So one thing I always do is I tie a fluorocarbon leader. Here I got the Alberto knot that I'm gonna tie. There's different variations, but this is the one I like to do. Make a loop in your left hand with your fluorocarbon. You're gonna take your main line and you're gonna go underneath. Grab my main line and I'm gonna wrap it like eight times around. Then you're gonna take your main line and go back through the fluorocarbon loop that you created. I'm gonna pull on all four lines. You wanna kinda of get it a little wet so the knot cinches tight. Therefore, you don't burn your knot. And that is a trustworthy knot. We're gonna go ahead and cut our tag lines off, and there we have it, ready for clear water. I'm Casey Knapp, and that's a tip from Midwest Outdoors.